Is this girl a satanic demon sent from our overlords to deceive the youth into destroying their brains from a lack of animal nutrition? Or is it a silly, naive girl that thinks she's doing good for the planet, for the animals? I'm inclined to believe the former, especially considering the blatant symbolism on her Instagram. But let's take a look and see what she has to say. Today, I thought I'd make a video about meal ideas, some grocery shopping ideas, and just tips about being vegan in college. I've been vegan for about two years now. I really like eating this way. It makes me feel really good. I don't digest dairy that well. And being vegan makes the dietary issue pretty easy to avoid. I also think it has a lot of environmental benefits even if you're not is this a eating, joke i think it can be pretty beneficial there's no way this is real just be aware of how much meat and dairy you're intaking and maybe making it a goal to cut down on it a little bit just for the sake of you there are a lot of health benefits and i think if everyone were to do that or at least you know a large group of americans it could have a pretty big impact so yeah i'm Okay, okay, okay. There's way too many cuts in in this, and it's it's a way too like classical brainwashing for me to take this seriously. I don't know if like she rewatched this and understands what it sounds like, but uh, I am inclined to take direction from a uh, very pretty girls with long limbs, big hands, and uh, sharp jawlines. Definitely my type. I'm gonna start off by just showing you some of my grocery staples and then you can follow me around throughout the week don't, don't look into its eyes guys as long as you don't look into its eyes you'll be fine and i'll show you some things that i eat first things first our appliances. I recommend a magic bullet. I didn't realize how much I needed this until I had this. I blend This is like vegan 101. Oat flour out of oatmeal. Smoothies, batter. That's all I can think of at the moment, but it is the best thing ever and I think it ranges from about Honestly, usually they recycle the ones that are as pretty as this into like supermodels or something. They don't usually uh, throw them into the vegan nonsense. Maybe, uh, maybe her shoulders are too wide to be a model. I don't know. 20 to 25 bucks. I also recommend a good set of reusable bowls. I have this size, this size, and a mini one somewhere, but they're the best. I use them almost every day, and then I just wash them in a cameo sink. I also have these big bowls, which are really good for popcorn making, and if I want to throw a salad in here, and silverware. I wash these in the sink as well. This little tool has saved me this year. All I do is take whatever dishes I happen to use in a day, and this little guy to the bathroom. All right, we get it. You're aware of the health and the environment, but you use plastic utensils and, and poisonous dish soap on your food. We've had some good times together. As far as food goes, I would sell my soul for Quaker Oats. I eat these like it's nobody's business, and the amount of these containers that I've gone through this year is frightening, but it's my go-to. A protein powder is really good to have on hand because you can mix it into a bunch of things like yogurt, oatmeal, you can put it in your smoothies, maybe throw some in your coffee if you wanted. I'm actually... I'm almost out, but it's great. Organic vanilla, I recommend. I also recommend just keeping some basic seasonings in your dorm, maybe two or three. Sea salt is a great one, and everything bagel seasoning, it tastes good on everything. Rice cakes, salads. I can't think of any more. Cinnamon's really good. There are a few health benefits in cinnamon, and it's also great on oatmeal and other- Is this like the budget vegan nonsense? Like, did they prompt her on a script or, or talk about anything? Th this is almost 
comically bad. Like, they just told her, hey, we're going to give you, you know, $200,000 a year to be vegan. I mean, I doubt she's getting paid that much, but they probably wrote up a contract. They said, okay, just pretend to be vegan on YouTube, make some videos, and we'll pay you. And, and, and that's what it sounds like. You know, she has no idea what she's talking about. She doesn't know the health benefits of food. She's just bringing up oats, like protein butter. Like, we, we could touch on those. We've talked about them in the past. Uh, generally speaking, you want all your plant foods to be organic. Something like oats should be naturally fermented if you're consuming them on a frequent basis. The protein powder is full of, you know, 15, 20, 30 different ingredients and chemicals that you probably don't want to be consuming. None of her spices are organic and, you know, consuming large amounts of spices can be an issue for some people depending on the spice where it's sourced from. But uh, apparently when, <laughs> when you're lacking brain cells like this, I guess you're not too worried about what you're putting in your body because what worse can happen? Types of snacks. Definitely keep some nut butter or some peanut butter in your dorm. Good source of protein. It's really filling and you can put it on everything. High omega and 6. I recommend just keeping great for oxidation. Maybe some olive oil and some maple syrup in your dorm. If you have them on hand, you'll never have to worry about having a lame meal. I usually have some staples in here too. Bread's a good thing to have. I always keep some type of plant-based milk in my fridge and whenever i grocery shop i always buy any young ladies that have watched this you will never look like that eating this diet trust me buy the fruit <laughs> that's on sale this time it was blueberries so that means my oatmeal will probably have blueberries in it also you will never have this many views blogging vegan videos with content this horrible all week and i'm okay with that I usually keep a bag of frozen spinach for my smoothies. I accidentally let this one thaw and then refroze it, so now it's a giant rock. And then I also like to keep frozen fruit. I also keep in a- she, uh, she replicating some familiar dorm noises? Emergency meal. It's usually like a quinoa or a rice veggie mix. They're pretty cheap and small, so you can buy two or three of these and just Throw them in your fridge. Out of everything she just showed, uh, that emergency meal was actually organic. Quinoa, rice, some veg might not actually be that bad for you, depending on the specific ingredients in it. I can't. Oh my God. Of course, we have to radiate ourselves. I got to touch on that because having a microwave in a cinder block dorm room, I don't know if you guys caught that. Her, the walls of her dorm are cinder block. It keeps in radiation. It also keeps out radiation. But if you have a microwave in a cinder block dorm room, you're going to be cooking yourself. It's like probably worse than taking an x-ray, to be honest. I wish it looked more appetizing, but it's delicious. My friend is having a brunch for her birthday, so I'm picking up another friend of mine so we can grab some coffee beforehand. And she's also going to bring me... See, he he's almost... I mean, she's almost pretty enough to, uh, to convince someone to do something like this. You know, follow this nonsense diet. A slice of bread. I guess I would say a tip of mine is to snack a lot throughout college no matter what because I think to keep energy levels up you kind of always got to be running on some fuel. I think I always snack throughout the day. I'm like a grazer, a horse in a field. Brought her a little surprise! <laughs> what would you oh, her friend's pretty when too. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Put my shades on. Like I've never seen one That's amazing. Spends more on the daily coffee than her food budget. Sounds about right. I'm about to walk to one of my only in-person classes throughout the week. So I think I'm going to take dinner on the go. But I just picked up a salad. And I know a lot of people think 
salads are bad, but honestly, they end up being some of the best. Man, look at those delts. Why get delts like that as a female on a vegan diet? Jeez. Play lacrosse or something? What I usually do is I get a lot of greens, and then I make sure I have some sort of protein, so I chose tofu today. Sometimes I put beans on it, and then I just make salad dressing in here since I can usually make it taste better. So I'll show you one of my favorite dressings. Yeah, if you combine so fat, acid, like saltiness, sweet, sweet sesame, it makes it palatable. Dressing, but a little bit simpler. Sometimes I put hot sauce in here. It's also really good with some chili flakes if you have them. All right, I'm gonna go to class now. There's nothing wrong with making a food taste better, but if you have to add dressing to make it edible, then it should warn you about the source food you're eating that it's not for human consumption. Everything in this meal is horrible from the conventionally grown vegetables that are sprayed with agrochemicals, the high omega-6 tofu and nut butters. Uh, but I really think tofu is on a whole nother level when it comes to being a poisonous food, the amount of chemicals, processing and oxidation it goes through. Uh, and, and, and we've touched on, on vegan dishes like this, you know, plus, how horrible are all of those raw vegetables on your stomach day after day after day, goitrogens, various anti-nutrients inhibiting thyroid function. On top of that, it's just not a food you're meant to naturally consume. And uh, we got the, the triangular symbolism, of course. Her friend's talking about BPA-free cups and they're frying themselves in the dorm room like chickens with that microwave. She's gonna manifest the steak into her fridge. Breakfast time. I've been craving pretty savory breakfasts recently. I'm trying to wake up earlier and do different types of exercises. So lately it's been walks and that's paired with a really early morning alarm. I woke up at six this morning, it was tough. I know that's the average for some people, but it feels like an accomplishment to me. I think that's maybe another point. When I eat well, I feel better after. I it's just the combination of the lack of understanding of anything nutritionally related, plus the tone of her voice being so boring. It, it, she just sounds like a ditz, like nothing going on up there. I work out, I, I feel like it's all kind of in sync. Whenever I come back, I always like to eat a good breakfast afterwards. And this is one of my favorites. All it is, is some oatmeal. I mean, hey, worst case scenario, if she's not smart enough to, to get a job after college, she can, uh, Definitely be a, a day laborer with those mitts. Jeez. Look at this. I would hands. measure, but I kind of just eyeball it, if I'm being honest. And this seems redundant, but I'm going to put oat milk in it, which is just more oatmeal and water, just to use up this carton. And then I add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, that's some gross. Everything bagel seeds. I would vomit if I, I drank that. Top. Olive oil in a shake. Oh some chili flakes and a little bit of baking powder. What is she doing? This is horrible. Then you just blend this and it makes a little pancake batter. If you use oats, you can make it gluten-free and you also don't have to keep a giant bag of flour in your dorm, but obviously flour works too. Oh man, that pan. How poisonous is that pan and that cooking spray? Probably not as poisonous as all the dope you inhale living in a dorm room. I usually just have this with avocado and some lime juice. But I found this vegan sour cream. I'm just gonna take a little bit of add it in there. You found it like right, so in the forest foraging? Add the avocado and 
and some sriracha. And that's it. Now, come on, let's be honest, boys. If that girl with that pretty face came up to you smiling with that dish, would you eat it? I don't know. It'd be pretty tough not to, right? The blue eyes, the dark hair, the full lips, the white teeth. I don't know. Uh, but in regards to that meal, at least she did cook some of the anti-nutrients out of the oats. Sriracha, avocado, you know, again, we're emphasizing the lack of organic ingredients to reduce some of the agrochemical concern. Uh, obviously, vegan diet from a nutritional perspective is always lacking B vitamins, DHA, fat-soluble vitamins, bodybuilding animal proteins. You know, for the most part, there's three categories of vegan meals. One are the super low calorie, high volume, like raw vegetable salads and the stuff vegans try to eat to pretend they think they're healthy. Uh, two, which is kind of like this, are the high caloric density meals that are not so high in omega-6 that are actually you know, kind of okay for you because they're just caloric energy. And then three, you have the just super oxidized omega-6, tofu, seitan, protein replacements that are very damaging, very oxidizing, and probably the most unhealthy component of a vegan diet. Uh, so usually see them hit all fronts of this as we have so far in this video. I think it's just an easy way to spice up things that you already have. If you're already gonna have oatmeal, you might as well make pancakes with it. I think you can argue that there's a downside to having to do your own dishes. You know, I, I think uh, she's too short to be a model. Uh, I mean, I, I'm assuming uh, she's too short, judging by her head size and body size. That, that's my guess at why she's a vegan instead of uh, being being, <laughs> being used as a supermodel. Versus using disposable plates and silverware. But honestly, I've kind of come to really like scrubbing. It's pretty therapeutic. So and she's clearly a horrible actor, so that's that's out of the as as possible, possibilities as well. You know, sometimes they get a little crusty. I'm going to be efficient this morning and wash them now. I usually just set these on my counter, kind of spread them out, and let them air dry. Thanks for the tutorial. <clears throat> Thank you. So it, it, it's pretty easy. Nuts are a really big part of my life. I love them. And I know a lot of people yeah. can't eat them due to allergies, which is really <coughs> a shame. I'm gonna so die. I have the other <laughs> recipes oh. that I love. Here they are. Is this the, is this the sponsored part? The companies that are paying her? This is horrible. Man, if she wasn't if she wasn't that pretty, we wouldn't be watching this. Let's just leave it at that. See, this is where you notice the the drastic brain size difference between this girl and and the Russian girl Victoria Ciro. Huge uh, capabilities regards to recipes and creativity. All of those snacks seem to have the same overarching concerns. The chips and hummus, breakfast bars and oat milk, the apples and dip. They're likely full of agrochemicals. They're overheated, overprocessed, have actual preservative chemical ingredients in them, and, and just overall are only a source of caloric energy. So if you're able to remove those hypothetical negatives that might not be bad, but the only way to do that is to buy high quality organic ingredients and make them yourself. It's her backpack. So trans. I'm in a club. <laughs> it's called Vegan Voices. And I've never gone to a meeting or <laughs> sent any messages in the group chat. This is great. But I, I love, love this. So much. <laughs> is this a I joke? Remember, even though I've never said anything. <laughs> Or contributed at all. There's no way this is real. I know that I should, but I'm nervous for some reason. There's so no I way this is real. All the messages. And oh my god, this has to be satire. Guys, and it's so beneficial. I feel like clubs 
are being made for everything now. So if you're looking for one, definitely see if your school has a vegan club because I, I bet they do. But anyway, they send out a ton of information there all the time. And one of these great pieces of information is the fact that Target is having a sale right now for buy two, get one free on a lot of vegan stuff that they sell in their produce section. And I need to get groceries, so I'm going to go in and maybe find some other stuff. Oh, where is her but, um, brain at? Oh, I'm my excited. God. Yeah, it's all on sale because no one wants it. Chemicals in the sky, check. For my buy two, I got some <laughs> vegan cheese. I didn't know they had cheddar. I've never, I've never heard of vegan cheddar cheese. This is and definitely her, her first day in. vegan. And it's made out of oat milk and beans. Food science. I also got some chorizo, vegan chorizo. It'd be good on some salads, I think. See, that's actually a red flag that she knows what regular chorizo is. Might not be a real vegan. And all it's made from is water, wheat, soybeans, a little apple cider vinegar, and some spices. Yeah, 15 then, chemicals there. For the kicker. Legally not these, entitled to disclose. This was my free. They're Thai basil vegetable dumplings. And then I got milk and a can of beans. And um, I got a little ice cream for later. We have to get a chunk. So much for later. Oh! It's pretty sweet. Mmm. That's a first. Oh, but it's good. We know she's not an actual vegan. Is it ironic that Satan sounds like Satan? I mean, it is something Satan would do poison you under the guise of health, pretend to give you something healthy, but it's actually really, really bad for you. And the vegan ice cream, as with many processed vegan foods, has a ton of ingredients. It's usually high in omega-6, which is therefore oxidized, and it has a bunch of chemicals, and especially if it's not organic, more herbicides and pesticides that are going to stress your liver and, and probably damage your overall hormonal function. That being said, it's calorically dense, a lot of fat, a lot of sugar. It's probably why she's craving it. You know, those salads, those high water vegetable meals aren't giving your body anything it needs. I think if I were to end this with one note, it would be to do your own thing. <laughs> I think the right way to live out your college experience or just food or diet or exercise or lifestyle in general is to just do what makes you feel good and if that means maybe doing a version of veganism like switching to oat milk for a week then do it that's kind of how i've been surviving everything life you gotta do what works for you so i hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Miss Hale Burns. You're a lovely young lady, not a very convincing actor. Uh, I'm curious where this is going to go over the next uh, week or two. I mean, hopefully she makes some consistent vegan content because this is funny enough uh, to look at over and over and over again. A couple things we didn't touch on. Main one is the agrochemicals in the food, the herbicides, pesticides, fungicides all these estrogenic and poisonous things that are stressing your liver, messing up your hormones that are basically contained in any food that's not organic. And even when the food is organic, there are still concerns. Uh, so when she's buying low quality blueberries, low quality oats, not only are we concerned about the anti-nutrients and the specific compounds in the food itself, uh, what's more concerning is what the farmers used on those crops. And I do find it kind of funny that, you know, these kids go to, college for 20 30 40 50 thousand dollar tuitions absolutely insane amounts and then they live like they're broke like they're paupers they're eating ramen they're not they can't afford to spend any money on food it doesn't really make a lot of sense yeah you know, I, I would say you could you should probably tie her up in some sort of pentagram formation and get her uh to tell you 
who sponsored her and who's paying her, but she'd probably like it with all the satanic stuff. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let me know how you like this. I mean, I don't think she's convincing anyone to go vegan. Uh, I mean, all the views and some subs, I don't know. I doubt they're even real. Uh, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching me. You can go to frank if you want to support me further. But outside of that, please just share this video on social media if you can. I'll see you guys tomorrow.